new camera angle in honor of my friend BJ. Uh, in my Buddha bucket, driving around as you can see. It's a gorgeous day in California, Los Angeles area. Major rain, it's just been beautiful. And it's gonna rain more, which I love because I can have some couch potato days. Just watch TV, movies. You know, a lot of people ask about conscious relationship. They want a conscious relationship. They say, I want to be consciously relating. And we really can't move into conscious relationship until we have a conscious relationship with ourselves. You have to move into being more awake, more aware, more vigilant with yourself, and also more loving, more compassionate, and less judgmental. When you start bringing more consciousness into your own interaction with yourself, your own sacred life, then you start to draw it in from other sources. And I always say everybody needs to work with a mentor, a teacher, a guru, a guide. I do, you know, as, as well. And I, and I really like to say that, you know, I'm a byproduct of my teachers. I've had really good teachers that have had like major accountability. No matter how woo woo or out there, you know, what we were doing, transcendent work, transpersonal work, metaphysical, you know, just, but bringing it back down into this realm uh, that we're on and also really dealing with the emotional body. You know, most spiritual teachers, unfortunately, in spiritual disciplines do not deal with the emotional body and we are here expressed through our emotions. We're not our emotions, but the energy in motion, that is us. That's the soul path. And that's the earth plane. That's the astral plane is the corresponding component metaphysically. So you're not dealing with your emotions, your emotional body. You're not dealing with your wounding, your traumas. You're not really living. You know, you're not really doing what you're here to do. And, uh, you know, a lot of people call it spiritual bypass. Um, you know, I, I've had even heard teachers say, oh, I, I don't even need to go to anybody anymore. I've got to such a high level that there's no one that I can really learn from. And I'm like, whoa, really? Because hmm. I've even learned from the homeless person down the street. I mean, I hear my messages everywhere. And I was listening today from a recording of a friend of mine, and um, and he said, I thought he said Michelle. Was so so interesting, so surreal. Something that I was working on, and there was a line in the recording uh, it was an interview, and I thought, oh my god, I was meant to hear hear this. It was just so clear. Um, it's like when I'm doing mediumship work, and you know, somebody's parent or loved one, you know, comes through you know, with a message, you know, or it turns out orchestrated the whole darn session just to get a message across. You know, we do live in that place beyond the timeline. We live in the place of interconnectedness, the oneness. So what we need to hear, see, or receive can come through if we allow the space for it, if we're open for it, if we're willing to listen. That's the key. You gotta listen. You gotta wanna listen. I have some amazing friends and um, amazing friends, clients, family. You know, I just I'm just amazed at the people that are in my life. Um, I feel so elderly, you know, blessed. But they're honest with me. They will tell me, you know, my stuff, or they'll tell me how wonderful I am, or great I am, or my gifts. But but they also see my my areas of you know work that I need to work on. And I want you guys to ask yourself. You know, you want consciousness, but are you allowing those in your life to be open with you? Or are you rejecting it? Are you the grand poobah that knows it all? I get so tickled when somebody calls me on my stuff. Or somebody says, Michelle, do it. Go ahead. You know, I support you in this. If it doesn't work out, then I'm here for you. And a lot of other friends are here for you. Those are the kind of people you want in your life. Not the ones that say, oh, you're so great. Or yes, 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 yes. But that's it. You know, the ones that can see and love you. They see you. They see you beyond what you've gone through. And they support you. But yet they don't want to support you in something that's not good, you know, or not life enhancing, I should say. But they'll let you know that. They'll, they'll, they'll say, well, I don't quite see it, you know, and maybe you're fooling yourself. But yet I trust you and I don't, you know, you're pretty damn intuitive and you know your path, so go for it. And, and what's the worst that could happen? That's a friend of mine told me, which is also a transpersonal uh, psychology, transpersonal hypnotherapy um, process. What's the worst that could happen? And all of a sudden this person was telling me this. What's the worst that could happen? And I thought, that's true. 
you know, I got very wise person, very wise um, dear friend, love her dearly, and said, you know what, whatever it is, just go for it. So that's consciousness. Can you do that for yourself? Because if you can do that for yourself, then others can do it for you, and you'll draw more of that conscious relating. It just will be easy. It'll be effortless because it will be your state of being.